the oceans are our last great frontier for medical work. And that's why we're investing now. We work in infectious diseases, particularly with drug-resistant pathogens like MRSA. And more recently, we began working in neurodegenerative diseases, looking at possible treatments of Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and so on. Most of our work involves microscopic organisms. Our sampling involves traveling to various parts of the world. We'll go out sometimes 40 miles out to sea, and we'll drop these, these devices down to the bottom. They free fall. When they hit the bottom, they collect the sample, and then we bring them back up to the surface, and now we have those samples for study. And this is a cultivation here of a bacterium that's making a bright red pigment. Very interesting organism, which we don't know what it is. We'll take these flasks and we'll extract all of the organic compounds that are present in there. We'll get this red pigment out, we'll get other things, and find out what kinds of properties they have. Once we have these organisms in the laboratory, we can actually use them in a production facility, in massive cultivation tanks, 50,000 gallons, to produce the drug, not only discover it and refine it, but produce the drug for human use. These are minus 80 degree Celsius deep freezers, much colder than the normal minus 20 degree freezer that we have in our homes. Perhaps twice per year, researchers in our center discover agents that have enormous potential. The Center for Marine Biotechnology and Biomedicine is really a highly unique environment to discover new treatments for human disease. It's really facilitated by the quality of UC San Diego and our medical school and, and, and also the spirit of, of collaboration across these major departments and schools. Because of that, we've had great success in, in finding new drug treatments and moving them forward. This combination of an excellent oceanographic institution and a first-class medical institution has been critical to create a program that is not duplicated anywhere else. What we've done has set the stage for international efforts to discover drugs from the ocean. Most of our work has come from cancer-based work, and we're proud that we now have four different compounds in development for cancer, two in human clinical trials, and we are right at that cutting edge able to do what's called bioengineering. We can engineer drugs by combining genes that will make them. And in that combination state, this new life form will make new antibiotics or make new cancer drugs. This adds an element of novelty and an element of productivity that we don't see happening anywhere else in medical research. So this is an area of great enthusiasm. The students we train are highly excited about carrying on and moving forward in this area. And we too feel that we've hit on something with enormous future potential.